Hi, my name is Jasmine, and I'm from Youth Arts team also, so I'm Singy's colleague. Okay, this would interest um, the younger ones. If you're wondering like whether you qualify or not for the professional grants and you have your doubts about that, we have this thing called Pocket Rocket. Okay, Pocket Rocket sounds a bit dubious. If you're <laughs> curious, you can go behind and check out our collateral later. It looks something like that picture over there. So what on Mars is Pocket Rocket? Um, it's a platform that supports young people who have creative arts project ideas, essentially anything from music to uh, previous like music, theatre, dance, visual arts, and literary arts. But I'm guessing most of you are into visual arts or photography. But for those of you who do cross-discipline works as well, you can come through Pocket Rocket. Yeah, so what's so spe special about Pocket Rocket? Okay, Pocket Rocket gives funding through something called the Presentation and Participation Grant. I know you heard that just now. It might have slipped by you after the long presentations, but that's the PMP. So we give funding, and the difference is that you qualify for Pocket Rocket support if you're new. In other words, um, new doesn't mean you've never done art before, you've never done photography before. It just means you may not have had your own exhibition before, or you may not have uh, been on a professional platform bef beyond on your school setting. So Pocket Rocket actually um, makes available a way for you to get funding. Okay, um, We walk you through your project. In other words, you don't know how to carry out your exhibition, but you have a rough idea of what you want. We kind of walk you through the process, how to manage your project, looking into publicity and your budget management and things like that. And it all starts with just a simple email. You don't even need your plan to be super concrete. You just have to write into us, let us know what's your rough idea, why you want to do what you want to do, and that's all it takes. Okay, so what could you get from Pocket Rocket? That's basically we look at funding as well as non-funding. Funding through what I already mentioned is the PMP grant. Um, because these are for uh, Pocket Rocket is for newer artists, the funding ranges from sometimes below one thousand dollars, depending on the scale of your project and uh, quality, of course, of the works, and it ranges up to five thousand dollars. That's the cap. That's the absolute highest you can get through Pocket Rocket. Okay, um, and there's also non-funding support, which is pretty attractive to a lot of our applicants. We have artistic guidance and project management tips from our in-house um, pocket rocketeers, that's me, <laughs> and, and uh, artists as well. Like If we do manage to link you up with professionals who are interested in what you're trying to do, we could link you up and um, that would come with artistic guidance as well as um, a f more formal mentorship. So basically this artist could come in and talk to you more about curating your works if you're talking about putting up an exhibition. Um, we also have connections to other people and contacts. For example, people who look into crowdfunding and things like that. The very practical aspect of how to put together your project. These are the so-called criteria, which sounds like a very big word for things which are really pretty straightforward. You just need it to be an arts project. So yeah, don't come to us and tell us you want to play soccer and then it's us to fund it because we are after all an arts fund. And uh, it has to be not for profit. Okay? Um, we can talk further if you come from a for-profit organisation but are looking at a not-for-profit project. Um, it has to be initiated and organised by young people who are Singaporean or PRs. Um, it's okay if you have a mix of foreigners and locals. Um, it has to be an independent project. In other words, you can't come and say, like, I want to put up an NTU ADM project. And um, yeah, it doesn't work that way for pocket rockets, for individuals or collectives who came together just to do their own project. It has to take place in Singapore, um, at least as a starting point, your exhibitions or whatever. And it cannot be receiving other funding from NAC. So if you get PMP through youth arts, you can't go to sector development and expect the same um, fund coming from there. Yeah, and it has to engage. Basically, your exhibition has to have an aim to reach out to people. It can't be an exhibition just for the sake of you wanting to hang your work somewhere. It has to have an aim. Yeah, so just to give you an idea of what Pocket Rocket could support, here's a few, uh, two projects actually that we've supported before. Um, some of you may have heard of Sam Kang Lee, who's a photographer. Um, he decided to do something for his community, he wanted to reach his neighbours. So he basically went around taking pictures of his neighbours at their doorsteps, hence the name of the exhibition and he took a whole lot of pictures of a whole lot of different people in basically whatever makes them feel comfortable and he basically set up an exhibition and this was at his void deck actually. Yeah, so not an official gallery but it doesn't matter because to us it was great that he was reaching out to his community. So that was a photography project. We've also, as I mentioned, we support other art forms as well, or multidisciplinary. Transients was a theatre project we supported. It was by a bunch of students, um, I think post A-level students, who wanted to put up a physical theatre project so that they could share their love for physical theatre. Okay? Um, if you're not that familiar with 
um, different aspects of theatre. Basically, physical theatre is the one that is a bit more abstract to a lot of youths because it's, it's very focused on the movement. So what Transients did was they um, had workshops and they made it made their project open to a whole lot of youths from across the country from different theatre programs, and they put out something called Transients. Yeah, just to wrap up, that was a very quick presentation, I think. These are these are four ways that you can get to us. You can call us if you just want to ask some stuff, or you, if you have a rough idea, you can mail us your idea. And you can right now actually like us or tweet us on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>